everyone, welcome back. Today I am here with another powder brows procedure, so let's go. First we will clean the eyebrows completely. Moving my client's head and the other side too. We will disinfect the eyebrows. We will pluck the brows now. When you pluck the eyebrows, you can see how it completely changes. You can see all the pigment, how beautiful it stayed in the skin. Hilde result looks amazing, very, very natural. This is how the eyebrow looks like after I plucked it. And here it's before. Let's do the other eyebrow. Now I will draw the shape. And we will do the other side too. Here you can see the shape and we are ready to tattoo. I am not going to use concealer and I'm not going to use baby powder too. We are using Quadron Needle. I'm going to use this beautiful brown color. Here you can see the undertone of the color, of the shade. We will start with the pixelated outline. So that means I am using very, very soft movements and I'm trying to do the outline quite soft. I am stretching the skin into three different directions, towards myself, away from me and to the side. Our client has quite a thin skin and she's really white. Soft and pixelated outline. You can see I am doing this outline with longer movements. And I am moving forward. Stretching very well, 90 degree angle and consistent movements back and forth. As you can see, I am not checking my outline now. I am doing the outline and then I also do the first pass at the same time.
moving closer to the front of the brow. And now I am working only with the movement towards myself. I don't want to put that much color to the front. So longer movements and towards myself and now we can check the eyebrow. Here you can see the eyebrow after a very quick first pass. Now I'm going to use an aesthetic and we will start with the second pass. I will apply a foil and we will wait two minutes. You see that the skin is white, so that means that the anesthetic is already working. Now we will start with the second pass. Here at the tail, I am doing only movements towards myself right now because I want to create a very, very nice and clean, sharp tail. And here I already move to the pendulum movement. I really like to use pendulum movement because you can do twice as much work at the same time, right? After the first pass, we will clean the brow and we will see how the color stays. It's a little bit harder to clean it because my client has a lot of hair, so I need to clean it properly. This is how the eyebrows look like after the second pass. And now we are ready for the third pass. One way movement over here. And coming back slowly. Shh. 
shorter movements, very close to each other. We will clean the eyebrows and we will move to the other side. We will start with the pixelated outline again. And now I will also start shading the tail. Our first pass is done and we will continue on the second pass. My pressure is always very soft. I'm going to use secondary anesthetic for my client. We will apply a thin layer of anesthetic and I will put a foil on top. I will leave it for around two minutes. Now we are working still on the second layer. We are done with the second layer and now we will continue with the last layer. I am finishing the last pass and we are almost done with the procedure.
this is how our brows looks like. Color is beautifully matching her brow hair. When eyebrows usually heal, they are much softer, around 30 to 40 percent. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!